Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Vinny Thangar, and I am Mayor President Broom's ACAO focused on economic development. We are so blessed, so blessed to have such a beautiful sunny day to celebrate what we believe will be the first of many public-private partnerships to address the most acute challenges that we are having in our community. My colleagues and I feel, and we're not going to be uh, bashful about saying this, that the revitalization of this medical plaza and the tenants that are moving in is one of the best examples of a true public-private partnership that addresses health care, community, and economic reinvestment in our city and state. We are, we are blessed to have a distinguished group of folks on our stage, and you'll be hearing from Mayor President Broom, and we're also equally grateful to have Governor Edwards, City Councilwoman Banks, and leadership from Auctioner, New Era, and Oceans Healthcare here with us. They will share their thoughts on how and why this public-private partnership will be critical in addressing the challenges that we have in our community. At this point, Mayor Broom, I'll yield the stage to you. Good, happy South Louisiana morning to everyone. I am uh, so glad to be here today, and I just want to thank everyone who has uh, come, down, come out to join us here today, and thanking those who have contributed to our continued push for access to equitable medical care throughout East Baton Rouge Parish. In East Baton Rouge Parish, many of our communities, especially communities like North Baton Rouge, suffer from years of disinvestment. As Mayor President, I recognize that this disinvestment has adversely affected East Baton Rouge Parish, which is why I have worked to address this issue every single day since I came in office. In 2018, the members of my Mayor's Healthy City Initiative, which includes all five local hospitals and over 100 nonprofits, businesses, schools, and governmental institutions joined together to release the nation's only joint community health needs assessment and implementation plan. The plan encourages collaboration across sectors such as community development, health, housing, and employment because we know all of these sectors influence our quality of life. This is why it's critical to improve health, prosperity, and equity in communities in every sector of East Baton Rouge Parish. Through the Community Health Needs Assessment and the collaboration of our community leaders, legislators, and the private sector, we have come along to move the needle on addressing these challenges. By addressing these challenges, we are working to create a stronger and healthier Baton Rouge. Less than two years ago, Governor Edwards council members, area legislators, and I stood before you to celebrate the addition of emergency care at Our Lady of the Lake North. We're doing the work, and we know it doesn't stop here. We have been doing the work, and it's evident when we look at the progress that we are making in North Baton Rouge. I've asked everyone to come out today to discuss this history of disinvestment, not with the intention on dwelling on the misdoings of the past, but to see how we have worked to correct these issues, to create a healthier Baton Rouge. Today's celebration and putting Howe Place back into commerce is proof of that. For over two years, my administration and the community in North Baton Rouge have worked to solve the vacancy in this facility that has affected this area for 15 years. We stand before you today as we continue to move toward our new era. This is an accomplishment that not only I, but all of us will hold dearly. This achievement serves as one of the stepping stones of our community that we will use to continue to build a path for Baton Rouge, a path of peace, prosperity, and progress for every resident. The facility behind us will be the new home 
to over 100 jobs and will provide health care services to those needing behavioral health, eye care and primary care, serving up to 10,000 patients a year. Today, we celebrate How Place and the future it holds for the residents of North Baton Rouge and other areas of our community. Not only do we celebrate health care accessibility and newcomers, but we also celebrate Dr. Akoba, who will be welcoming new neighbors very soon. This would not be possible without the collaboration of our partners, our leaders, and our community. Thank you to our Metro Council members, to our state legislators, to new era companies, Oceans Healthcare, Capital Area Human Services, Dr. Akoba and the Louisiana Center for Eyes, Barry Sternlet of Starwood Capital, Ryan Williams of Cadre, the North Baton Rouge Blue Ribbon Commission, the Baton Rouge Area Chamber, the North Baton Rouge Economic Development District, and last but not least, our supportive leader of our state, Governor John Bell Edwards. Thank you all once again for the contributions that you have made and for working with me and my team to create a stronger, healthier, and more equitable East Baton Rouge Parish. I look forward to your continued collaboration as we continue to create a path of progress. Before I turn it over to Governor Edwards, I want to quickly mention our Go Get Healthy testing initiative. Go Get Tested. Over the last two days, we have tested about 2,500 people for COVID-19 across three sites in East Baton Rouge Parish and one in Gonzales. We have another site coming online today, and I'm very encouraged so many are taking this seriously. There are 10 days left a free drive-through testing available to everyone. Please visit doineedacovid19test.com and register there. This initiative is a collaboration with our state and federal government. So thank you to our partners, Governor Edwards, our legislators, our city council members, and our community for helping us to move towards a safe, and healthy community. Now, I will hand it over to Governor John Bill Edwards. Please welcome him. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, and I'm glad I get to take off the mask for just a minute uh, so I can speak to you. You can see that I'm really smiling because today is a great day. She talked about all the partners that were involved in making this a reality, and partnership is certainly important. And I want you to know that the mayor has been a tremendous partner to me and to the state of Louisiana, as together we've served the people of, of East Baton Rouge. Um, today, it really is a shining example of partnership and the benefits that it can yield. Uh, and I know that, that she's done a tremendous job uh, in very, very difficult circumstances, especially uh, as we uh, deal with this public health emergency that we have with COVID-19. I, too, want to encourage everybody out there not just those who were physically present here this morning, but everybody who is receiving this uh, by whatever means, uh, TV, radio, whatever, to, to go out there and, and get tested uh, between now and July the 18th at these uh, surge testing sites that, that have been uh, set up. And if you think that we're not in a new normal, just look around uh, this morning. Uh, but I will tell you, this is what responsible uh, leadership looks like. And everybody here is a leader. Uh, because everybody's doing their part when it comes to wearing the mask, physical distancing, and, and so forth. If we are going to get back on top of the case numbers, if we're going to get back on top of the hospitalizations and drive those numbers down, it's going to take everybody, everybody in Louisiana uh, behaving in, this, in a similar fashion. You know, when I ran for office in 2015, I made a promise to all of Louisiana that I would do everything within my power to improve access to health care in our state. And that is why on my very first day in office, I expanded Medicaid uh, for the working poor of Louisiana. Uh, improving the health of Louisiana is not only my priority as your governor. 
I happen to think it's my responsibility, it's a duty that I have, and I know that that's the way that Mayor Broom sees things as well. And that's why we've been working together uh, since very early uh, in our administration is to improve access to quality, affordable health care. Uh, and in order to do that, we had to honestly examine where we were and to determine how we can improve uh, from there. Uh, and over the past few years, uh, she and I have worked, the mayor and I have worked to improve the health of our residents by aligning private partners, the local medical community, and leaders at the local and state level. Uh, the first major success, as the mayor mentioned, uh, was the facility at Our Lady of the Lake North, which provided access to primary care, but also urgent care and emergency care. Uh, that facility is a critical uh, part uh, of the health care landscape in North Baton Rouge. Uh, but I am not alone in saying that we can't stop there. Uh, our residents deserve more, and that's what brings us here today. Uh, we're celebrating the continuation of reinvestment in North Baton Rouge not only in its economy, but more importantly, in its people. As I always say, the most important, uh, the most precious natural resource that God has entrusted to us is our people. And we should look to continue uh, to foster investments that improve the quality of life of all Louisianans. The New Era Medical Office Complex helps us take another step forward in this community. It will increase access to care. It will also catalyze investments to increase productivity. You know, the accomplishments over the last few years uh, to work to address inequities uh, has been uh, important. We haven't done everything that we need to, and, and we realize that, uh, but we wouldn't have been able to accomplish what we have without the public-private partnerships. And I want to continue to challenge our business community to step up, to get involved with reinvestment of North Baton Rouge. Join myself, join Mayor Broom, and other leaders in Baton Rouge, including the legislators, many of whom are here with us today. And, and all of the council members to accelerate development around this medical complex. The revitalization of Howell Place moves us forward in our effort to address inequities in Louisiana, in our health care, in our economy, and in our communities. And placing it here in North Baton Rouge is incredibly important. And we, we've known for some time that we had inequities in terms of, of our health in Louisiana, but I will tell you COVID-19 uh, has put a very bright light on that. Um, and so more investment, more effort is needed, uh, not less. So I want to thank uh, Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom for leading this in initiative and for working to make uh, equity a reality in East Baton Rouge Parish. And I want to finish by reaffirming my commitment to the people of North Baton Rouge, to East Baton Rouge Parish, to everybody in Louisiana. We're going to continue to work tirelessly. We will leave no stone unturned to improve lives as it relates to the health equity and quality of life. So God bless you. Thank you all very much. And please stay safe and stay well. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. As I said, these partnerships involve uh, not only our public uh, partners, uh, but the public and private partners at every level and so thank you governor for your partnership and it gives me a great pleasure to have one of our federal partners who is here today with none other than our congressman congressman Cedric Richmond congressman Richmond if I didn't know you were here they called your name <laughs> Uh, let me start by thanking uh, the mayor president uh, for her leadership and her commitment. Uh, this was a uh, dire challenge when uh, she assumed office, and it was her leadership along with the legislative delegation, along with the council, along with the governor, uh, to get this done. Uh, in this time that we're in now, uh, a time of not just COVID-19, but a time of increased awareness of racial equity, uh, increased awareness of the disparities that exist, that have been highlighted by uh, the deaths in COVID-19 and coronavirus. Uh, it is important to make sure that we address not just uh, the disease and the pandemic that is in uh, front of us, but that we address all of the inequity that we see. And it starts by fixing uh, deserts. 
So whether it's a health care desert that we are addressing today, uh, whether it's a financial, banking, insurance, pharmacy, uh, food, all of those deserts need to be addressed. And it takes uh, partners from all uh, facets of business, all races, all walks of life to make sure that uh, we come together. So that's why coming to North Baton Rouge is so important. But it can't end here. It has to be a catalyst to uh, incentivize more businesses uh, to invest. And now with Opportunity Zones, now as we will continue to try to uh, build upon uh, the Affordable Care Act, make sure that we move towards a public option so that health care becomes uh, a right, not a privilege. And so uh, we will continue to do our part on the federal level. We will continue to fund our community health centers. We will continue to double down uh, our investment in communities. Uh, but right now, the most pressing need on the federal level is to make sure that we get to the state and to local governments money to help them with the budget shortfalls that we know we're going to see because of COVID-19. Uh, local governments are losing millions and millions of dollars, and on the state level, it's probably in the hundreds of millions of dollars, if not at the billion number. But the federal government has an obligation to make sure that we get resources to local government so that they can continue to provide the necessary resources. So when you think of it in that light, uh, it only magnifies uh, what we're here uh, today celebrating the accomplishment of doing this in this era. So again, I just want to uh, thank the, the local Baton Rouge leadership, thank the governor, and all of the private partners for uh, this new era uh, that we're in. Uh, but it is well deserved, it is well needed, but we can't stop here. We have to keep uh, lifting up and investing in uh, North Baton Rouge, which is an opportunity zone, and we have to just uh, keep it up. So with that, again, Madam Mayor, thank you for having me here, and thank you for your leadership. Thank you, thank you Congressman. Um, you know, when we first started talking about uh, uh, some of the things that we wanted to see transformed in the North Baton Rouge community when I took office, uh, one of the strong voices uh, behind having a transformation and making sure that this building uh, would not remain vacant, as you can see, it is a, a wonderful uh, building that is still has enormous potential. But one of those voices uh, was the councilwoman from this uh, district, Councilwoman Shauna Banks, along with members of the North Baton Rouge Blue Ribbon Commission and then the North Baton Rouge Economic Development District. I want to thank everyone for working hand in hand with me. Also, uh, Senator Regina Barrow, who represents this district, as well as Representative Carpenter, but all of the council members and legislators who work hand in hand and who are here today, Councilwoman Green, Representative Ted James, Representative Jordan, thank you all for your collaboration in this effort. But I'm going to ask Councilwoman Shauna Banks to come up now and speak. Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ooh, that feels, feels good. <laughs> For so long, filling this three-story building with a myriad of care has been somewhat a distant dream, yet something always on the horizon. The fact that we're here today to celebrate the culmination of work to rekindle life into this building is truly amazing. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the original members of the NBR Now Blue Ribbon Commission, Gary Chambers, Eugene Collins, Cleve Dunn, and several PhD level professionals from Southern University who in 2016 dedicated hundreds of hours of effort to bring an emergency room and other medical services to North Baton Rouge. 
It is with great pride that today multiple physical and mental health options exist in North Baton Rouge. The addition of New Era, Ocean's Behavioral Health, and Oshner's Health Systems ushers in an era of even greater collaborations and discovery in Howell Place. About 20 years ago, I was diagnosed with a pseudotumor, a fake tumor. I had blood pressure behind my eyes and all the symptoms of a physical tumor, like severe headaches, and I lost my peripheral vision because the condition can cause blindness. A matter of fact, I had eye surgery to relieve the pressure at Ashina Hospital in New Orleans. Isn't that interesting? Annually, I see an eye specialist to check my eye pressure. My doctor is right here in this building. And when everyone else left, Dr. Carola Okogba with Louisiana Eye Center has remained. Is she still here? If she'll stand, please. I want you to know we have an excellent ophthalmologist right here in our neighborhood, in our backyard, delivering eye care to those who call North Baton Rouge and the surrounding area home. I am deeply grateful to Mayor Sharon Weston Broom, who believed in the vision and remained steadfast to restorative use of this facility, and to the Mayor's assistant, Chief Administrative Officer, Vineeth Ingar for working so hard over the past two years to make it a reality. Today is a testament to their efforts. While we're here to dedicate a building constructed of steel and concrete and glass, communities in District 2, which I represent, in Councilwoman Green, District 5, in District 10, all will benefit directly from this facility. My desire is that the heart, the essence, and the purpose of all those who occupy this building will always be evident in their commitment to the community. Thank you. And